In this video, I'll analyze a DC circuit that combines serial and parallel resistors. The first question is, what is the total resistance in this circuit? And the second, what is the total current? In order to find the current in each parallel branch and the voltage drops through each resistor, we must first know the total resistance and the voltage. Then we can use Ohm's law to find the current. We begin by finding the total resistance, and we do this by simplifying the circuit. The procedure is to solve for parallel equivalent resistance first. Then we can add series resistors. We can simplify the circuit using three formulas. Series resistors, that is resistors that share a single path to ground, are simply added together. For parallel resistors, that is resistors that follow different current paths to ground, we can take the reciprocal of each resistance, add them together, and take the reciprocal of the sum. This is known as the 1 over 1 over method, and it can be used for any number of parallel resistors. One other thing to note is that if the parallel resistors are equal, you can divide that resistance value by the number of resistors. If you have only two resistors in parallel, you can use the product over sum method. If you look at a circuit similar to this and you ask yourself, where do I start? It might help to see it as a tree. You start at the outer branches, calculating equivalent resistances level by level, working your way back to the power source. Let's plug some values into the resistors, add 12 volts to the power source, and find total current and equivalent resistance. Okay, we now know the total resistance in this example. We plug our known values into Ohm's law and we get eighty nine milliamps. We're not done, so we won't round out our numbers just yet. After we saw for total equivalent resistance and current, we can fill in the details. In simplifying, we started from the outer branches and worked back toward the current source. To fill in the details, we'll work in the opposite direction. We follow current flow from current source to ground. According to Kirchhoff's voltage law, voltage will drop as current flows from voltage source through resistances to ground. We're going to see what that looks like. The first resistor is a series resistor, which means the total current passes through it. Using Ohm's law, we'll multiply this resistance by the current. This is the amount the current has dropped. It's what we'd see if we measure across the resistance. We subtract this from our original voltage. This voltage is measured from the negative side of the resistor and ground. Our circuit splits here. Let's solve this branch first. We previously found the equivalent resistance. We'll use Ohm's law to find current. Next, remembering to move in the direction of current flow 
we solve for the voltage drop across the series resistor in this parallel branch. As we saw before, we subtract the voltage drop from the previous voltage. To find the current through these two resistors, we divide the voltage by the resistance. The current in this branch should be the total current minus this current but we'll use Ohm's law. All that's left is to find the current in these last three branches. The voltage has dropped to zero in each of these points according to Kirchhoff's voltage law.